Thank you very much for joining us here um, for the closing. Um, so uh, next to me is Mishari, who's our lead here, our organizer in um, Thailand. Uh, and I'm uh, Mario, who's like here, here with representing the team, the Post Asia team. So Mishari, we've done it. Yes, we have. Thank you. Congratulations, Mario. Thank you, but not just to us. To everyone. To everyone. Thank you. So, um, yeah, Open Tech Summit uh, 2019 it was the first summit in Thailand. Yes. We had uh, meetups, I joined your Coda dojos, and uh, yeah, things happened, but like, uh, um, it was a big experiment. Many things we didn't know. Um, like, it always happens when you go to another country, you organize something, there are things we don't know, there's like um, sometimes internal politics. Yes, cultural in issues. Cultural issues, and so on. But like, the magic of the free and open source community is that we can overcome this. So we often overcome this online. Many people in the chat, for example, in our projects, we see that people from India and Pakistan work together when the news is like really, oh my God, what's happening there? So this is really an example for me always to have a peaceful cooperation, not just cooperation, collaboration. We work yes. together. Yeah. We don't leave it to some politicians or to some people uh, who decide about our lives. We take lives in our hands. And I'm very happy to see this here. Yes. What do you think? Me too. I'm uh, very excited. Uh, I've always been a fan of Foz Asia the, ever since I went there four years ago. And I felt, and I've always felt that Thailand needs to be more involved in the global free and open source software community. And I think we have seen that here today with, uh, with international participants, international speakers. And I saw, we saw in the hall, there was a lot of talking, a lot of collabor collaboration, uh, a lot of introductions being made. So I think in that regard, this, uh, this was a major success. Yeah. So thank you, everyone, for making this success. And let's uh, um, have a small recapture. So what, what happened here? So we had uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tracks. We had eight tracks here. And um, there was a breakout room. We had uh, hands-on sessions there. I saw today a few people uh, use it. They had some workshops there. We had a Python workshop there. Um, we had a lot of uh, yeah, talks in, in the different tracks about hardware. What uh, comes to your mind, for example? Which, well, wh which uh, sessions did you visit? Which, what did you like? Oh, uh, well, uh, definitely. I mean, I am biased, but I definitely th uh, found the, uh, the open t uh, um, the e-government stuff uh, extremely fascinating. Um, I also this morning attended the uh, session about the wax printers, uh, uh, which is re really, really cool as well, uh, mainly because it's the problem that open source is trying to solve. It. They had a proprietary wax printer. It broke no parts, <laughs> right? Yeah. So what happened? Decided to build his own. Yeah. I was like, excellent, I yeah. love that. Okay, so, and I think we can uh, have this session here a little bit interactive, so yes. maybe uh, some other people have some feedback. For example, I always know Andrew has feedback, I already warned him that I would <laughs> ask him. So Andrew Lee is from Taiwan, and like, uh, he's been also to a lot of um, free and open source conferences uh, as a Debian developer. Andrew, uh, any feedback, any impressions that you like, uh, who did you meet? I, s I think the best thing that happened last night, right? We have uh, live music and uh, people get together and then really talk to each other. I think that uh, if we can put a such kind of a social event a day in advance, the, 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 the whole event, the first day, even better. And people really can know each other. So, uh, absolutely, and uh, we tried that. We tried that. We actually had a few people, but it always depends. There's never enough time. Some people arrive earlier, some people arrive later. But we can expand on that. Yes, yeah? we can. As a feedback. Thank you very much. Anyone else who has some feedback, just Raise your arm, and I see Mark is worried that I'm <laughs> asking him. He's so tired. So, by the way, uh, Mark just came from Switzerland and, like, uh, um, uh, flying. Uh, you're on the way to Taiwan, and you made a stop over here, and you hardly slept. And it's real dedication. And a lot of people you have a dedication. So, I would just give a round of applause to Mark, but to everyone who showed real dedication here. Thank you very much. So as a reminder, I mean, there are always a few things to be paid. Maybe like before we uh, uh, ask this, it's also a good chance as we say thank you. We can say thank you to the, to the partners here of the event, of course, organized together with the FOSS Asia community. But we had the UNESCO. Um, we have the UNESCO uh, workshops today. Mm -hmm. um, on, on the top floor, there were a lot of government actors. 
Um, anyone here who was there at the UNESCO, actually, at the UNESCO sessions, yeah? You were there? Okay, so, um, yeah, that was really good, and, and they were really, like, surprised, yeah? Because they see us, we are not, like, this usual suit conference, and uh, they see the laser cutter, they see MySQL, they see all these companies and projects, and they're like, wow, how, how can they make, how can they make hardware with these people here, yeah? So they're really surprised uh, what we're able to do, and they uh, invited us already, um, uh, the partners also of the UNESCO to work with them. So that was great. So one of the partners here was the National Innovation Agency. Uh, do you have any feedback uh, um, on them? Well, a big thanks to the National Innovation Agency. Uh, this event would not have been possible without their, uh, uh, their, uh, their current uh, support. Uh, they did a lot of the heavy lifting uh, in order to make this possible. So I would like to really thank and acknowledge them for their help. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And then we had, uh, um, of course, like here right in front of the door, uh, MySQL. So uh, MySQL has been a supporter of um, free and open source events for, for a long time. And uh, yeah, I, I saw like really tech discussions sometimes. Yeah, really focus with people. And you had your workshops yesterday. So thank you very much. And we hope to see more in future. And um, maybe there are a few words from you um, as a feedback. Thanks a lot. Uh, this actually is a great event. And uh, I liked it, and uh, thanks for all actually participants to join. And actually, I see many faces and talks about the technical or actual business. And one of the things that I really, really impressed, so we see lots of good kids, right? So they are really good and well, so they speak and also into the open source. Okay. Thanks, kids. Oh, what's your name? So you are having the, the organized the helpers, our yes. kids helpers. So can we give a big hands to those kids? <laughs> thank you. Okay. So thank you very much. Um, absolutely. So you, you see, it's hands on. And uh, yeah, we had uh, Grab here today. And uh, like uh, Grab is relatively new compared to a lot of like uh, older established companies. And many, many people didn't know um, like what you do with the free and open source community with the free and open source software in your company and um, so you share today for example about uh, OpenStreetMap how you use it and um, so that was really great um, and we had Ort E with a great coffee so please big round of applause for all the sponsors And uh, yeah, also the partners here, uh, it was great. So I think we will continue this in future, for example, with the Thai Programmer Association. Who actually uh, here received the information about the event from the Thai Programmer Association? Who, who, who got this me, information here? Me, me, uh, me yeah. 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 So uh, it's great really to connect with the Coda community. We had uh, um, your uh, organization, Simple. Uh, we had Launchpad. Some people arrived earlier, and um, they, um, they were traveling from somewhere else, so they could uh, spend a day at the co-working space of Launchpad free of charge. And by the way, if you're staying longer in um, Bangkok, Launchpad just offered us that um, if there are any participants who would like to use Launchpad, they can do it. Tomorrow, yeah. yeah tomorrow. Yeah. They can also do it. So feel free to check them out. We had WeLearn, great workshops, hands-on. Uh, we had Kapook, who was um, covering the event online. So that was really great. So the Open Tech Summit 2019. What do you think? Should we do it again? Uh, in 2019, it's a bit too soon, isn't it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Probably. Or maybe we ask... Uh, yes, uh, next year, definitely. Yeah? Okay. Uh, so who here wants to see Open Tech Summit again? Yay! Okay. Who here would like to volunteer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, wonderful. Thank yes. you. So this is great. Should we continue with a bit more feedback? Sure, feedback? yes. Yeah? We would like more feedback, please. We'd like to know if this is our first year. We'd like to get your feedback. What do you think? What do you like? What do you not like? So let's see how we can make it better. Oh, here's Poom. Sorry. Well, perhaps we could like publicize this a lot more beforehand. So we yeah. get more participants because the idea of open source is a very noble idea. And to kind of like uh, toot the horns and make people know that there's alternatives where you don't have to pay you know, for, for software to run their hardware, especially their older hardware, effectively, is a great thing. And of course, other noble causes like uh, free hardware as well as no, no free designs for hardware or like even um, different forms of electronic governance, good governance, and 
uh, universal access to whatever utilities for the 21st century, like you know, internet access, uh, environmental concerns, uh, future, future crucial points, thinking points, debate, open discussion, it would be much more richer with a bigger uh, amount of people joining. You're welcome. Okay. It sounds like a huge event to me. I don't know if we can do this, but like um, um, free and open source events are not just like uh, uh, limited to this team. I think you can also take this as an inspiration and do more dedicated events. And by the way, is it okay also we can also have if people are more comfortable to speaking in Thai? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Sorry, we have uh, Poom here who wanted to share something. Poom? Uh, so, yeah, I really like the event. Uh, I'm a volunteer, and I just, maybe next time we, I want to have more time for the volunteers to prepare everything. Okay, more time for the volunteers to prepare. Cool. But Anything else? Just, I, I like the whole event. It's very informative. Thank you. Well, how about the drones? Do you like the drones? <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> All right, cool. So more drones. More time to prepare and more drones. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. If anyone has a comment that is in Thai, please share your thoughts. Because the team of the event wants to know what you like, what you don't like, what you should do again, what you should do again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like Kong, I saw you yesterday. How did you like the social event, for example? Oh, actually, is uh, I have don't have some of the uh, of the comment much, yeah, because I enjoy just one day. But uh, actually, is uh, I I think uh, one of the thing is a uh, kind of the uh, the. We we can do much more public relation for the next time. Yeah, we we just do for for the Facebook group and kind of like a narrow yeah narrow circle for for the communication. But I think is a uh, yeah open text submit is can be uh, like a much more fun. This the if we can do kind of like a project of the open source. Uh, Pitching the project or some kind like that is uh, maybe another thing that I would like to to suggest yeah, for the next time. So this is really great that you volunteered to organize this. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will work with Michelle yeah, for that for for the next year. Yeah, and also I said, yeah, with the thing that uh, we we can buy out the uh, more sponsorship. For, for next year. <laughs> okay. Th thank, thank you very, very much. much. And uh, I see um, uh, Eden is here from the Force Asia team in Vietnam. Uh, Eden, like, what's your impression here of Thailand and the Open Tech Summit? How, how did things work out? Uh, hi. So the things work out very well for me. Uh, like uh, for the first time, the Thai people are very friendly. Uh, everything is good. So I hope to come back next year. Okay, that's all for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very shy, but like uh, you can talk with each other. And uh, Mr. Wheatet, you're from the, the Singapore community. Yes. Um, okay, it's my first time here, in, uh, actually second time in Thailand. Um, yeah, it's my first in, in the summit, Open Tech Summit as well in Thailand. So, so far, I would say comparing, okay, it's not good to compare, but I would like to compare now. Uh, the crowd here is quite receptive uh, compared to the Singapore's. So, uh, very good. Uh, uh, can you elaborate on receptive? Um, more active, I would say. Yes, they are more open to it, uh, 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 open source, you know. I mean, it's not saying Singap Singaporeans are not, but uh, uh, just that the way uh, how culture actually shapes uh, different mindsets. Yeah. But uh, yeah, actually, I would enjoy, I enjoy coming here quite often. Uh, of course, I'll come back again next year. Okay. Uh, I would uh, like, to, like to hear from Kun Jumpot because he is actually a, uh, a coffee farmer. Right. So, uh, so how do you like this event? Uh, คือมาวันนี้ก็รู้สึกว่าจะเจอแต่แต่แนวกิ๊กแนวเทคอะครับ
สิ่งหนึ่งที่ที่รู้สึกก็คือว่าเราอาจจะคือถ้ามีครั้งหน้าเนี่ยเราอาจจะจะประชาสัมพันธ์ไปในกลุ่มที่ที่ไม่ใช่กีกมากขึ้นครับเพื่อให้เกิดการแลกเปลี่ยนความรู้คือบางอย่างครับผมผมอยู่ในทั้งสองโลกผมเป็นโปรแกรมเมอร์ด้วยแล้วก็เป็นเป็นฟาร์มเมอร์ซึ่งพอมาได้ฟังเนี่ยหลายอย่างโว้แล้วก็เราอยากให้เกิดความรู้สึกแบบโว้อย่างเงี้ยกับกับทุกๆคนกับหลายๆคนที่ที่น่าจะมีโอกาสได้เข้ามาฟังครับ so so I uh, so uh, I he said that um, we we should be uh, publicizing this event to more than just uh, just geeks uh, we should be public uh, we should be publicizing it in the in the wider circle because he's both uh, he's coming from a perspective both as a former programmer as now a farmer and many other talks he goes to and it just wowed him so he wants other people to come here and get the uh, that feeling of wowness as well Kapan hat. I just I just want to say how enjoyable it's been, and the relaxed, fun atmosphere. It's very different to a lot of conferences I've been to or spoken at. The fact I think this is a great venue. Number one came up, so great choice of venue, and just the way it's been laid out, really well organized. The volunteers and these kids have been brilliant, and the fact that you've allowed families to bring their kids, it just shows how kind of relaxed and uh, informal. The summer's been, and it's, it's been very much like a experiential. And and I know that like the organizers like Mario and Eden, they went out socializing till all hours, and that's rare to have. Like when you've got organizers and um, you know people going out and socializing with the delegates and with the speakers, it's quite extraordinary. I think that kind of spirit has made this summit really enjoyable for me, and I'd love to see it come back. Um, as we, one thing I, I would like to see is when you go on the website and you go onto the, the different assets you've got online, maybe some of the videos just posted up there from previous events, whether it's Vietnam or Singapore. Just get some videos up there so people can see the kind of content they might be able to see and view. But yeah, thanks so much for organizing this. It's been great. All right, good idea. Actually, that's a good idea. Maybe even the the speakers can uh, post. Uh, send us links to previous uh, talks so that we can feature the previous uh, what the speakers has talked about in the past as well. That's that's a that's a pretty good idea. W w so you can send in a pull request yeah. and add that feature. Yeah. So may maybe many people don't know that yet, but actually all these websites and so on they're on um, uh, Git repository. So um, we will share this with you in the after event email. So if you want to change anything on the website, you find a mistake or something like that, uh, always possible to make a pull request. Okay. Yes. Go, uh, Pichai. Would you? Do you have anything to say? It's a very good <laughs> summit <laughs> for me. <laughs> it's a uh, different people, different idea, different proposal. Good to learn. I and I hope next year we should set it up again. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Look it. Uh, look it is the um, say the the informal leader of the uh, of, of of the uh, of the of the volunteer youth squad. So, uh, turn half. Me comment like bang. Ah, I think this work is very good. Because there are many things that are very interesting. I like the most. 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 So uh, he uh, he said that uh, there were uh, uh, a lot of interesting topics. Uh, he really liked it. The one the session that he liked most is uh, the CS Unplugged session uh, from WeLearn. ครับผมอ่าอยากให้จัดงานนี้ต่อไปอีกหลายๆครั้งครับผมโอเคแล้วคุณจะอาสาสมัครอีกมั้ยลองอีกครับผมอาสาอีกครับโอเคขอบคุ
and I know we have one of the organizers of the PyCon in, <laughs> in uh, here in uh, uh, Thailand uh, uh, present. It's always interesting to hear uh, the experience of other organizers and uh, feedback and what, what went well for you, for example, here. Uh, yeah, thanks very much. Um, so I'm Mike, uh, and uh, I don't know, I think quite a few of you probably attended the PyCon this year. I was uh, one of the organizers of that. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a great event. I like this kind of size of event. Uh, it's great to see like it's very inclusive and you've got a good age range here. That's really good. Um, I would say like as advice from organizing the PyCons, like this, this size of event is really quite uh, not too hard to organize. And this is also a great venue. We had one of the PyCons here as well. Uh, as you... Children, children, children. As you as you uh, if, as you grow the event, um, it, you need more volunteers. Uh, I think like about 500. Then you start have to start thinking about outsourcing some of the work. So that's my advice for like uh, growing this event. But it, it's good to grow. And uh, yeah, if uh, if people want to volunteer for the next event, I, I recommend that. It's good to be involved with these kind of events. It's a community thing. Thank you. And uh, yeah, maybe Bella, any feedback from your side? We had the registration. How did things work out together with the Thai people? Because uh, the, 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 the thing is, actually the good thing is everybody thought I was Thai, um, but I, I was not actually. But, but like they're very kind and I love Thai people as well as um, Thai food. But uh, the event was um, actually a, such an, uh, a great experience to me. So I hope I could come back next year. Thank you. Thank you. And Janelle, uh, anything to say? Um, this was the first time I think I was attending uh, one of these conferences. And uh, something that I think is probably the highlight is I loved how kids were all around. They were organizing. They were troubleshooting problems. They were doing everything. And that itself like tells that there's so much interest. And that is something which was fascinating. Other than the talks, it was a bummer that I couldn't attend the first day, but hoping that I can continue and collaborate more with everyone around. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay. So um, I think uh, um, we will send out a form after the event. Yes. Because uh, sometimes like uh, some ideas, uh, um, like you need to, in German we say uh, some things have to sink. Do you, you say that in English? I don't know. So yeah, uh, sink in or something like that. So um, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to your feedback. And um, this is an open team. So. Um, how we often do uh, things in Force Asia events, we, we have a core team, they take uh, care of some of the logistics and so on, which is difficult to handle with volunteers. We have, um, yeah, everyone has a life, right? But um, uh, like community can do a lot of fun things. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this is how we want to continue this. So the uh, team is generally open in future. Uh, how we do this, for example, in Singapore, the three months before an event, we have um, meetings, once a week or every two weeks. And yeah, if you're interested to be uh, also not just a volunteer, but like part of the organization team, that's okay. If you're a speaker or any other role, um, it's always great when we, if we can connect. Yes. So that's it. Yes. And um, yeah, a lot of more things are, are going on. This is not the end. We hope you also organize events or meetups or something like that. Um, actually, my observation in Thailand is often that we have this crowd of like uh, expats getting together and then we have this crowd of Thai people getting together. And I'm really happy that we achieved to bring these two crowds here together. And uh, that I hope to see more in future as well. And actually, it's a lot because of you, Mishari. You're kind of a connector of many worlds. So, um, yeah, I would also like to say thank you to uh, uh, who make all this happen. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mario. Very kind of you. Okay, so tonight there's a uh, um, uh, Asiatique. Yes. So, uh, so we are meeting up at the food court. So uh, there, so there's a lot more conversations to be had. Uh, a lot more fun talking, connecting, uh, uh, building up a network, uh, collaborators, or just enjoying each other's company. Right? It's yeah. difficult to come across fellow geeks who are into open source. So we want to make the most of it. So, which is why we are meeting up at, uh, at Asia Teak around the food court. Yeah. So Asia Teak is a, is a night market. Um, yeah, you can By the river. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. a Ferris wheel. 
Yeah. So you can find it online. Then um, if you are still staying in the city and you would like to work in a co-working space, maybe there will be several people. Uh, tomorrow you can go to Launchpad. Yes. Um, next things that are happening online, of course, we'll be posting the um, videos that we made. Uh, we chat, what, what do you estimate? Like how, how, how are things going? Yeah. <laughs> One to two weeks. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll inform people. Um, then we have an event also organized by the Vietnam team in Ho Chi Minh City soon. Um, we have an event coming up um, in China with Tsinghua University. They're focusing a lot on hardware. Um, and next year will be the Force Asia Summit. But if you have any events, please share them with us so we can also share this with the community. I think a big feedback here was that we have to share more actively across different channels. Um, so people really know what's going on. So if you have anything going on, we would be very happy to share this yeah. um, through the channels that we have. So please let us know. And I think communication, yeah, we always need to keep up things. Yes. I think that's it. Uh, oh, yeah. And of course, there's a special massage offer for anyone. Um, so a friend of mine who, who has a spa near BTS Chonglonsi um, is offering 30 minutes of free massage to... Uh, any Force Asia participants? Um, the um, the announcement is in the is in the meetup, right? Uh, the Force Asia meetup uh, page. So if you want, just call up the number and book your free massage. You can do it. Uh, they're open tonight until midnight and tomorrow from what 10 a.m. until midnight. So that's one way of contributing to open source, right? It's free and open massages. I, I, I see. Uh, I see, Mark. You probably never heard this at any other event, <laughs> ever. Uh, this can only happen in Thailand, uh, right? And uh, the free massage. So this is really great. So thank you very much. So thank have you. fun with the massage, and see you at the next event. Thank you very oh, yes. much, and goodbye. Thank you. Bye.